Does he have hero stats he's not good at? That's a good one. Oh, I bet. Tracked up. Okay, I mean, he's gonna try to go swap, but they got vision on him. Track and jam it. Look at that long chain. Yeah, he is gonna be dead as well. He's gonna make him work for it, but. So Invoker cancels the push. You can't run ganks. Can you defend oh, your base? This one Ember. Now that he has Octarine, Hellstrom, how do you even don't have the damage on him? They need to start off with the Burrow Strike from Sanking and then follow up with the Old and kill him in between. But the way that he's played so safely, I don't know if Bobo can find the opening. And if you assume his team, how do you actually kill? That dude can all. Yeah. Alright, well, Mason is doing a fine job protecting at the base, allowing Treant to get a little bit of more time to fuel off the tower. So at least they're holding their high ground, but for how long? Amber jumps in the right side, goes on straight Demon. Demon pops a shrine, getting a little bit of HP back. Will he actually survive? No, he goes down very quickly on the back line. Okay, Mason's in there, but the Overgrowth, a lot of domes are just PL illusions. Oh PL moving forward. Dubu in a lot of trouble. Dubu is gonna just get burned down. Ember comes in, gets some foul. A Beyond Godlike streak, and now Mason getting chased down under the tier four. The raid boss is down. Team Secret, all five still alive. Invoker's back, but Invoker, the solo wizard against the world. I don't know if a bed could do anything. This is gonna be the first lane of Rax for Team Secret. They can go for more if they want. Or they go back for shrines, but it seems like they're gonna just get the slip in the rack. 